Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can embed Google Documents into your blog posts and have them actually displayed the way you want them to look. So let's go ahead and get started here. First thing you need to do is open your Google Document and select File, and we're going to publish it to the web. And we'll select the embed option and now hit publish. Now remember when you do this, you're making the document public. And now let's copy this embed code. Now over here, I'm using Blogger, but the process is very similar if we use it in WordPress as well. So let's go ahead and hit a new post. And in our post editor, we want to make sure we're using the HTML mode, not the compose mode. And I'm just going to write simply, you know, check out my embedded document. And we'll call this one sample posts number 10. Now, in my post down below my break lines there, I'm going to post in or paste in that embed code. Now, before we publish this, we need to add a little bit more because if we publish this right now, it's going to look a little bit like this. It will simply show a space where we want the document to be, but it's not really displaying it the way we want it to. So we need to add a little bit more information to this embed code right after the true we want to include the word with equals and then a dimension now a typical blog column is between 500 and 600 pixels wide so let's say we'll go 550 and then we're going to do height equals and let's say you know we'll make it 600 then put a quotation mark at the end of that. Now, if we go to look at this blog post, we should see that the document is now displayed in a little bit larger format. Now, you'll notice that it's still not quite the right formatting. Our border over here got cut off. So let's go back in and change that width. And you know, make it 500. Now we'll hit publish again. Take a look at that. Still cut off. So again, just go in and edit that. I'll knock it down to 400 or 450. Do our update and view it again. And now there's our embedded document with the full scroll on the right hand side. Now again, you can customize the display by going into the edit mode and changing the width and height dimensions that you type in after the word true in the embed code provided by Google. Now, if you want to see how this works in a WordPress powered blog, well, let's use that same code. Let's go over to EduBlogs and see how it works in a WordPress powered blog. So, I'll open up EduBlogs here. And I'll use my sample EduBlogs blog to show you how to include your Google document in your blog post there. So, let's log in. And we're just going to create a new post, just like you would do any other time that you're using your EduBlogs blog. So I'll add new. And again, might do something like sample post number 10. I'm going to use the text editor. Paste that into place. And let's publish. Now let's view that post.
and there's our document. Now again, we want to make that wider because the column here in Edgy Blogs is a little wider. So let's go back into that post. We'll edit it. And we'll make that width 550 and see how it works. Let's view it one more time. And so now it's a little bit wider. Now if you had a full screen display available in your blog, so for example, if we were to make a page, let's make a new page, and our page is going to be full screen, or full width, maybe we'll make this one 700 pixels wide, as opposed to being that 550 pixels wide. And let's publish that one and view that page. And we'll see, there it is, a little bit wider. Now again, I'm going to edit that page and play around with the dimensions and the width of the page itself. So that's how you can embed a Google document into your blog post on Blogger or on any WordPress powered blog. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.